And with that, we do want to bring in our NBC10 political commentator, Sue O'Connell. Sue, a lot to break down here. Yep. People who watched last night's debate, they're talking about the vibe. Now, both Vance and Walsh politely debated policy, mostly green to disagree. But folks online, when you read their comments, are using the words weird or boring when watching. How do you take it? Well, <laughs> they're using those words because this is how it was before Donald Trump actually entered the political stage. Because of Donald Trump, people have expected these debates to become entertainment like WWE wrestling events. Vance and Walsh, they have dramatically different views of what America should be like. And they debated politely, sometimes, as we saw, with some fire, but respectfully. And they talked about policy. And voters who watched last night woke up this morning with more information. And now they know more about each candidate. Look, the debate is not supposed to be a reality show finale. It's supposed to be like it was last night. Yeah, no, no way it should be a WWE fight matchup here. Um, so, Sue, you know, you said the main job of the vice presidential candidate, you've said this multiple times, yep. is to do no harm. But they're also supposed to make the top of the ticket look good. So how did each candidate look on that front? You know, they did an excellent job, each of them, both defending their bosses and being boosters. So I'm going to give them some grades, right? So Walls had to present Kamala Harris as both the future while touting her role in the Biden administration in the past, while taking credit for some things in the Biden administration and avoiding responsibilities for other things. I'm going to give Walls a solid B on that front. Now, Vance had a much harder job. The Washington Post said Vance had to sane wash Trump's policies. It was a masterful performance on Vance's part. If a voter was just tuning in to the election and tuned into the debate and heard Vance, they might think that child care for families was a priority for the Trump administration and that Trump saved Obamacare. Neither of which is true. So I'm going to give an A-plus performance for Vance, and I do mean performance. All right, so another debate, right? And, of course, we're hearing this again and again, another controversy over fact-checking. Right. Now, this time, if you did watch, the moderators, they interrupted Vance when, in fact, CBS said that moderators would not be doing that. The candidates were supposed to be fact-checking each other, but, right. you know, that didn't really happen last night. Do you think this is, like, the best outcome we can expect for fact-checking in debates moving forward? You know, uh, Priscilla, I spent this morning reviewing the fact-checking of the debate and um, some re reading articles, checking other people's fact-checking, people's fact-checking. And I count 16 times that Vance was untruthful or was flat-out wrong. Waltz, I counted four times. Now, voters often say they don't actually like it when the candidates fact check each other because they sometimes view that as fighting and not talking about the issues. And when moderators fact check, right, let's face it, if they fact check all 20 plus claims that I found last night, there would have been no time for the debate. So, yes, I think this may be the best that we can expect. And look, it's up to me and to you, to the voters, to do some work on our own. Use this thing, the Google machine, <laughs> to check things that don't sound right to you and then seek out articles and reports the next day that fact check the debates and use some critical thinking skills. Find some trusted sources. We all have the tools and skills to fact check on our own, Priscilla. All right. Although I did it for you this morning and sent you a mail. I was so. going to say the email you <laughs> sent this afternoon. It took me a while to scroll, so I have a feeling it took you a while last night to compile. <laughs> a lot of fact checking behind the scenes. Sue O'Connell, we appreciate it so much. And of course, as you know, we dive into the latest political headlines from around the country and, of course, right here in New England every weekend here on NBC10 Boston. Tune into our political show. It's at issue. With Sue, our Corey Smith, and Matt Pritchard, it airs Sundays at 11:30, right after Meet the Press. All right, guys, let's.